Hi, this is Nathan Wynn from AA Nomadic LLC. This is the first series of many PAL apps, tips and tricks that I will be sharing with you. To start out, we will look at how to dynamically resize a gallery, but also put a maximum height when that is reached and beyond. Next, we want to place a footer right underneath the gallery at all time, dynamically, of course. So let's look at the gallery heights. Before we look at the gallery heights, I want to look at the template size. The template size, as you know, is the height of each row here. It is set at 40 at the moment you can see if they do 50 got bigger I'll go back to 40 now we want to resize this by taking the value of the template size and multiply by the number of bracket counts in here so let's do that let's remove the 450 and say count row the gallery gal level one dot all item and multiply that by the gallery template height so the gallery template height is 40 all item 5 and therefore you have the gallery height is set at 200 at the moment dynamically but if if we have more records, this thing will expand all the way down. So we don't want to do that. We want to put a, put a cap at 400. To put a cap at 400 height, we use this formula here. We say if the calculated height is greater than 400, we will set it at 400. Otherwise, use the calculated height. That's fairly straightforward. Now, how do we move this up next to the gallery? So this is a Y property. Right now, it's at 600. So we want it to align with the gallery Y. So that will move the control where the gallery starts on the vertical Y here. But we want it to be all the way down. So we go into, we want to add the gallery height. So now, the first footer will always be at the bottom regardless of the number of records here. If this expand, the footer will move along with it because it always start here and then at the height of the gallery. The next tips will be having this control here move in unison and be relative of one another. And I want to start with the magnify class. Right? If I move up and move right, everything will just stay. The first approach would be right click and then we're going to group the control together and this way we can move up and down, left and right together. However, they are not relative because if I change this to 300, uh, things don't get pushed out. For this demo purpose, I will ungroup and take this control here. This is the search icon. I get the control name. I'm going to select the remainder control and go to the Y. They are set at 231 at the moment. So I'm going to go to the search icon control Y property. And now if I move up, everything here will tag along. If I move right, it has not yet to move with it. I'm going to select this text control and then go to the X and I'm going to paste in the search icon X. Now it will overlap right because we, we want it to move to the end that's why we add the search icon dot with now it will be next to one another for the clear control the, the, the clear control i want the clear control to be at the end of the text box so if i put 300 here it doesn't move along with it so let's take this control go to the x the search text x you can see here it goes to the beginning and you move it to the end you're going to add search text with but that will be all the way to the end not inside that will be all the way to the end not inside so you should need to minus self with the cell is whatever object the code is on is cell referencing so in this case the width is 35 it moved inward 35 so let's test this out now we add 300 the eraser control will follow the last part is the checkbox here and it's going to be similar to the eraser without moving in with the self width that's why we're going to take out the cell width right here it's going to start with the text box position and then it's going to add the length of the text box and place the control right after it if you would like some space at 5 or 10 or whatever you want to do. I like it to be like that. Now, if we move up, down, left, right, everything else move in unison, including resizing the control. Everything move along with it. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe my channel. That will encourage me to keep making videos and share with you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.